What's up, people? Welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to Forza Horizon 4. And I've had actually quite quite a lot of requests of me trying to build Smokey's Super. So if you guys don't know what the Super actually is, this is a uh, this is Smokey Nagata's Super. And uh, well, obviously, this one that I'm driving this one's a completely stock one. But I'm gonna try to see if I can build it or get it as close as possible. I mean, it's not. I definitely don't have the top secret kits in the game. Um, I also won't, don't, won't have the same engine swap. I do, however. I am able to V12 swap this thing, which I will end up doing, obviously, for the build, and obviously, you know, Twin Turbo the V12. I, I, I think I'll be able to do that, but I don't, I don't think it's the same V12 that we have in thing. I think it's just going to be the Lamborghini V12 that we can just put and get in pretty much any other car in this game. But yeah, obviously, in the the real life version of the car, it's from a Toyota Century, um, which would be kind of cool to put into this car. But obviously, we don't really have that option, so I get. Like, I just have to work with what I have to be completely honest with you. There's nothing really else. But yeah, this is pretty much a tune or a build that uh, will have to be as fast as possible in a straight line on public roads, which is what we're driving on, on the highway. Um, so that is the goal here. Get the stake to 1,000 horsepower with a V12 twin turbo swap and try to hit 200 miles an hour on the highway. So that is, that is pretty much the main goal here. I'm also going to go ahead and... You know, do the whole paint job thing and, and all that sort of stuff. So we'll see if I can actually find a decent one there. So I'll show you guys really quick here. Uh, for any engine swap, we can have the 6.1 liter V12, which is a McLaren engine. I'm, th I'm think is this a McLaren F1, the BMW engine? I think we've used this like not recently, but I, I think I've seen this fairly recently, which I think that's what it's from. Anyway, we're putting that on. Uh, obviously, twin turbo it. Now it makes 902 horsepower, which is ridiculous already. Um, no drivetrain swap there. When it comes to the body kit, like I said, I won't have the same sort of, uh, you know, top secret kit that the car in real life actually has. So I guess I'll go with something as close as possible to it. I mean, something like, obviously some of the versions for the car in real life is, you know, full wide body custom kit. Uh, like it just, the, the, the kit looks absolutely nuts. And like it doesn't even look like the front end just doesn't look like a super anymore on that specific kit. But like, um, I think for a very very ridiculous tune or a very very ridiculous build, I mean we can go with something like this. There is a wide body version of it that looks somewhat similar to this, except obviously it's a lot wider than this as well. It just looks like a race car. That is mad looking. I'm just looking at the pictures of it in like in real life, but. Yeah, we'll go. With, we can go with some uh, with the June kit. I mean, I don't see anything else that can possibly uh, the bomb X kit. Maybe I want to do something a bit different. I think the June kit is what we chose for the Fast and Furious Super. So I'm gonna go with something like this, just so it's a little bit different. Um, for a high speed, like top speed build or whatever, I kind of want very like low slung wing, something like this. I think would be kind of alright. So I'm gonna pick this. Um, for the rear end, again, I just want something that's just nuts. Just completely crazy looking rear end. Um, either something like this, like the trial kit with a diffuser on it, which I don't know how much or how good this is going to be for, for high speed, but I know it's going to be good for like... Yeah, I'm going to put the trial kit on it. Why not? I don't even know what I'm, what I'm saying anymore. Uh, can I move out, please? It won't let me move out. I thought, I thought I'd get the option to like click out. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um... Trial kit is just a bit too low. That one is also a little bit too eh, iffy. I kind of want it to be like just a straight line. It just doesn't really match up, I think, with the front. Of it. Actually, yeah, it's actually not that bad. Never mind. I thought it would be a lot worse. Um, no custom bonnet. I'll leave that completely untouched. I think this is going to look a lot better once it's on wheels and has the actual full kit on it and everything else. Uh, I'm going to go with the. Uh, I'm going to go with race tires on this thing. I need as much grip as I possibly can. I mean, it's not. It's not like ridiculous, ridiculous power going all to the rear wheels. So I'm gonna just give it as much, um, as much grip to the rear to the rear wheels as I possibly can. So race tires and as well as possible. Now for the sets of wheels for this thing. Again, they're just ridiculous wheels. I don't think we'll have these in the game. But I'm gonna try to choose something that's similar to these wheels. Okay. Now I actually found the perfect dimensions for this, which, uh, which is pretty good. That means I can go back to the tires because I didn't actually see the, the dimensions before. So it's 275. I can't actually put 275 in this thing. You know what? I'll just cheat and I'll put 295s on the back. Uh, and then for the front, it's on 245s. So that is the setup that we are running here 
for for the tire setup. Now for the wheels, it's on some Ray's GTF one. Um, there's no chance that these wheels are actually in the game. Uh, so I'm gonna go and just find a set of wheels that are close to these. Now the wheels are multi-piece, multi-spoke wheels as well, which look not the same as this, but like they look quite similar to those wheels that I was just on there a second ago. So it has to be in like this category. Ha they have like a little bit of a lip. They're not like crazy, crazy uh, dished or, or anything like that. We do have a little bit of a lip, and I think those ones that I was on before, those that's like the closest I can possibly get to them. Which is these ones. Even the spokes, like the amount of spokes that are there, I think it's is it ten spoke? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten spokes. It's the same. It's all the same. Okay, I'm gonna keep these. Um and obviously I'm gonna have to change the color of them because they're like pretty much the same color as the car. Which is like this weird, like flat gold color. Which is kind of cool. Uh, it's on 19s, so I'm gonna go 19s all around, like so. For my track width, uh, I guess it helps a little bit if I bring it out just slightly. So I'm gonna do the same for the front and the rear, just sort of feel you know, the one take out. And now, I guess the next thing is to I'm just gonna upgrade everything. I mean, I need to have fully customizable everything to be able to adjust gear ratios and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do that. Um, race diff as well. As for my brakes, I mean, I don't think this really matters too much here, so, but I'm just going to put the biggest brakes possible. As for our suspension, just go erase everything. Again, I'm just going to adjust this, or I'm going to buy the best thing so I can adjust it. I don't think... Is there a weight on this car? I'm trying to have a look here. I'm like on loads of different types of forums just to try to find out what the the specs of this thing is. Like, just, just perfect like specs for this car. So, apparently... Okay, apparently, the thing is that the power has been rated to 600 brake horsepower at five or 5,500 RPM, but there were rumors of it having a 1,000 horsepower. There's spelling mistakes in this in this article, so that's that's amazing to see. Um, so I could try it with both. I could literally try it with both. I can just go, I mean, <laughs> the setup that is on it, right? If I put the V12 in it, I can't have it not make that amount. I mean, it's already going to make, because the Sentry engine... That's, that's literally the, the issue here. So the Sentry engine is not going to make... I mean, I can do this, right? Should I just do this? No turbos. Just try to see if I can reach 200 miles an hour with no turbos. Because I think that 1,000 horsepower is going to reach the, the, the amount there. So that's why I'm not touching anything else when it comes to the engine on this thing. I'm just going to leave it the way it is for now. Um, main and most important thing, I want to find a design for this. I really do hope that I can find like something decent for it. Okay, I guess this is the closest thing that I can put on. I'm just going to change the side skirt to see if it helps with with the way the the logo comes out yeah if i put the trial kit one on it'll it'll come out yeah i'm just gonna do that just so you can actually see everything and then i guess the front bumper is gonna have to get changed slightly as well because it just won't match at all so i might just put the trial kit front bumper on because then it'll it'll match properly i don't mind i don't mind it's gonna be a little different though to what i wanted it to be but i mean i guess now the whole kit is all the way around the whole trial kit even though it's not a trial super, it's top secret super. Right, so now with that being all done, let's try... Sounds so weird. Let's try... To see how fast the super actually goes. I need to tune it. I need to tune this transmission especially. It says 219 miles per hour. Do I trust it? Uh, I mean, I can try and trust it. Everything else? Uh, aero? I'm gonna put a bunch of aero parts on it. I guess I'm not allowed to adjust them. Weird. Um, because it's just the Forza parts that I can adjust. Okay. I was going to tune the transmission, which is the most important thing here. To allow you to reach that top speed, but it says that I can actually reach it. It's also not... It's also not twin turbo. So I'm tempted to see what it's like after I twin turbo this thing. Yeah, it can definitely reach 200 miles per hour now. 100%! I'm just gonna fast forward. Or not fast forward, but fast travel to this place here, because I'm just gonna go there anyway. So on the highway, this is supposed to reach 200 miles per hour, right? Come on, Smokey, I've been doing this with every car in Forza. Step your game up! <laughs> oh, God. But the main most important thing is, kinda drift! I'm joking. I'm not going to try that. 
Alright, I'm gonna stand right here. Do a little bit of a burnout. Let's go for it. Come on. That sounds crazy. What's it sound like from the inside? Oh my god, it's just screaming. So loud. I know I'm going slightly downhill here, so I know for a hundred percent I'm gonna hit. Yeah, well there it goes. Flying way past it. Two hundred and sixteen miles per hour. Two seventeen, two eighteen. Two hundred and eighteen miles per hour with this tune for the transmission. I mean, that's a little slow when it comes to Forza, right? That's that's quite slow. Now this is what my version of his super looks like. It's still got the 2J in it. It's well, well over the amount of power that he makes. It's got a thousand six hundred horsepower. I think the only thing that's holding this car back at the moment is literally just aero. Because that's it. I mean, like I have the power to do stupid, stupid speeds with it. And I have done stupid speeds with this car, but I mean, obviously his car, well, his car definitely can do 200 miles per hour and more. Also, this thing is so all over the place. It's so squirrely because it's just so much faster. And it's got so much power going all to the rear wheels. It's ridiculous. It is mad how fast this thing is. I just need to be able to put the power down pretty much. So if you haven't driven the Super yet in the game, for some reason, for some odd reason, you haven't gotten yourself a Super yet, let's say you're just new at the game, get yourself one of these. It's mental. It is actually allows you to drive at stupid speeds. And it allows you to tune it, not unlike the other games. In older, fast... Oh God. In older, um, I was supposed to say Fast and Furious games, in older Forza games, they definitely didn't allow you to do ridiculous builds like this, but look at this thing, man. That's 270 more 4 miles per hour, and it's just limited by the arrow. Like, the game's physics literally just stopped me from going faster. I think this thing could break 300 miles per hour. If Forza allowed me to have more aerodynamic parts and actually adjust them properly, which they don't, Right? They don't. I've tried with all the other parts and stuff like that. I could probably get this thing to be maybe max, like with suspension changes and all that sort of stuff, max, I'll say about 278, 279 miles per hour. It's so sketchy to drive as a rear wheel drive though. My god. But yeah, I decided to build Smokey's car, which I kind of did as close as I possibly could with the 600 horsepower build slash quote unquote 1000 rated horsepower. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I just wanted to see if I could do that, like, you know, 200 miles per hour on the highway, and it, it did it very comfortably. But this one had the McLaren engine in it instead, well, BMW engine in it, instead of the, uh, the Toyota engine in it, which is what, the 1G, I think is what it was called, 1GZ? Anyway, regardless, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's tune, or this video, I guess, of this car. If you want to see more videos, like that is so cool! I actually just noticed that! Because this is the UK spec version of the car, it has a little front lip at the bottom. Have a look at this. When I go over a specific speed, it just pops out. Oi, that is so sick. I'm pretty sure that's only on UK spec cars, right? And if I slow down, it goes back in again. That is so cool. I actually never noticed that on the standard bumper of this thing. That is very, very cool. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, I tried to get it as close as possible to whatever stats I found online and stuff like that. And obviously, you know, not having the... Jesus. Like I said, it's really sketchy to drive this thing. Um, not having, you know, all the top secret parts and all that sort of stuff to be able to add onto this thing. Like I said, I tried to get it as close as I possibly could. But yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions for any future builds, leave them down in the comments below. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.